So a practice problem um, where um, the standard normal table is help us to find uh, a medical application problem here. So if birth weights in a population are normally distributed with a mean of 109 ounce under standard deviation of 13 ounce. So mu, the mean, mu is equals to 109 ounce and the standard deviation sigma is equals to 13 ounce. Right? So what is the chance of obtaining a birth weight of 141 ounce or heavier when sampling birth records at random? When, um, so similarly you have other problems. What is the proper chance that obtaining a birth weight 120 or lighter? And okay, I'm going to solve these two problems now. So you have a scenario where um, the, the birth weights of babies uh, is follows the normal uh, distribution with the mean 109 ounce and the standard deviation is 13 ounce. Okay, so now we are, have to calculate the probability that what is the chance that a child born with 141 ounce or more heavier? So we need to calculate probability of x is greater than or equal to because 141 ounce or heavier means is more more than this. So x is greater than or equal to 141. Okay. So as I said earlier, I'm going to so here x follows normal with mean mu and variance sigma square. Okay. So in this case, x follows normal, mean is 109, and the variance is 13 square. Okay. So now you cannot solve this problem directly. So I'm I'm going to standardize this. Okay. So how I'm going to standardize this? This is equals to probability of. I'm going to subtract this. So x minus mu divided by sigma. Okay. Greater than or equal. In order to maintain the inequality, whatever I'm doing on the left hand side, I must do it on the right hand side. So 141 minus mu divided by sigma. Okay. So so as I said earlier, this is x minus b over sigma is my z okay this is z so greater than or equal to so 141 minus i'm replacing my mu with 109 over my sigma is 13 okay so this is equals to probability of z greater than or equal to greater than or equal to this will be 2.46 okay so this I can I can draw a diagram for this. So the the area that I'm interested in here is zero. So two point Z this is the Z, right? So this is two point four six somewhere here. So I'm looking at the area somewhere greater or equal to this. Okay? Greater than this. But if you look at the standard normal table there's always the area whatever the probability is available is z is less than something you can see this is always z is less than something some value okay so so you know that the total area under the curve is one okay so this is equals to the total area under the curve is one but i'm interested in the area that I need is Z is greater than or equal to 2.46. Okay, so how I'm going to read that value from the table? So 1 minus probability of Z less than 2.46. Okay, so this is equals to 1 minus. So you can look at the table here. So 2.9931, 0 0.9931. So which is equals to 0. Point zero zero six nine or point six nine percent so almost one percent would say that a child born with 141 or more uh, ounce right as a birth weight